Hey guys, Nick Makes Plays here, and today I want to show you my Calista Teemo Prankster deck based around Phantom Prankster and Nerdly Collector. Yeah, I played last night, I think I went 7-1, and one, and then um, won some more, lost some more, but it was really, really good, surprisingly good. I was chatting with me to make a, a zombie Teemo deck where it's like Teemo, but like you use like Harrowing and like Turborn multiple Teemos and uh, Rekindle Turborn Teemo, but it was actually pretty hard to build, so I ended up, it just kept becoming more and more of a Prankster deck, so then I decided to make it a Prankster deck, and it's doing really, really good. This format, um, I'm very surprised actually how good it's doing, and I think it's potential to be um, a very amazing deck. Uh, I beat the rank one player in NA in testing, or not testing, but on ladder today with it. And I also beat um, a bunch of good people on Dura decks, Ash Sag decks, a lot of top two decks. So I'll just go into the deck profile. First card, three Ravenous Butcher. Uh, it's mostly used as a combo piece uh, with Curse Keeper. The reason I run three is I want to max out my odds of having the chance of opening. Butcher plus Curse Keeper, because that's extremely uh, potent damage output on turn two. Let's say you're attacking on two, uh, like you're attacking on even turns. It's turn two, you play Curse Keeper. Well, let's say turn one, you play Bark Beast. Then turn two, you play Curse Keeper. Turn three, you play Butcher. That's three damage, three damage, four damage from the escape abomination. So you're able to output 10 damage on turn two, and that's it's insane. This is like basically, in a way, a burn deck. Um, I mean, you just want to like. I'll show the main card real quick. When another ally dies, deal one damage in Nexus. You basically just want to like kill them with by doing this, uh, doing one of them in Nexus with that card, and drain it. When ally dies, drain one from Nexus. When do it with these two cards, and this uh, any damage you can get beforehand before you can draw those is amazing. So this puts them at this tend to put them at ten life. Even if they block one, let's say they block the biggest one, um, let's say they block the four three, that's still six damage, and that's amazing. So max odds of that. Then next card, I have Bark Beast. The first time an ally dies, grab me plus two, plus two. Uh, very good, because it's like a three, three for one when you get it off, and it's really easy to get off. So um, amazing damage output, three, three for one, basically. Uh, one, or three Hapless Aristocrat. This card's just good because you can use it to tribute for Glimpse and for, um, where is it, Blighted Caretaker and it's good. It's good blocking. Anything. It just anything with one defense. It just dies and gets free spiderling, which is good. If you have prankster out, um, it it counts to two because it, it's two allies that would die. It has a hapless risk crowd would die, and some of the spiderling in that would die. So overall, just really solid one drop. Next we have Teemo. Uh, Teemo is basically just a one a one mana elusive that attacks for one, basically like a daring pora, right? But he puts mushrooms in deck. Or puff, puff caps, puff caps in their deck. So when he hits a nexus, puts five of these in their deck. If they it puts it in their opponent's deck, they draw them. It deals one to them. So you just attack with them as an elusive. Turn one. Uh, let's they take one. Then they they let's say they let's say they draw like one mushroom in the next like five turns or whatever. That's two damage off the team out. But if they can't block an elusive or deal with him, he gets to keep attacking. If he attacks three times, he becomes a two two. So basically, it's very easy for him to do two three plus damage. And this is mainly going with the elusive keyword, because uh, it can't be blocked except for by elusive units. Like other things can do three damage as well, but um, like let's look at like if they're like card like Legion's Avatar or something. But this is just really good because of um, it, it's elusive. So if they can't deal with elusive, it just keeps attacking, keeps doing damage. Next we have Boom Crew Rookie, one three attack, deal two to Manaxis. Card's amazing. There's one game where I did like over twelve damage with it, but I had three. But like it was crazy. <laughs> It's just a really, really solid card. Um, it's a two mana ping to the Nexus, but it also, if it dies, counts for Prankster. So, I mean, any unit does that, but it's really good in this deck, trust me. Trust me, you'll see, you'll see. All right, Curse Keeper. Um, Curse Keeper aggro decks are kind of all the rage right now. They're, uh, they're very potent output damage with uh, the Butcher and the Curse Keeper and Blood Caretaker and the Curse Keeper. You can glimpse it. Uh, it's a very good card. Three Glimpse, kill an ally, draw two, just to refuel. Um, has synergy with Curse Keeper. You do it with like, Rista Cat. You usually just use it on things that are already going to die. You can use it on one of the Hunter Relics that we're going to go into in a second. But it just lets you refuel. It's a really good card. Um, 300 Relic. So this summons three 1 1s, Ephemero. And when they die, um, it triggers the Prankster or the Memory Collector. So if you have Prankster, this does three damage. You have two Pranksters, so six damage. If you have a Collector and a Prankster, it does three damage and it drains three, so you so it does six damage to them and you heal three. So overall, really good, good for blockers. Let's say you just have a Prankster and they have a pretty wide field and they, they develop. You can just play this and get pretty much like 
they, they, their whole attack is just ruined because they just get blocked by these. They usually just end, and then it kind of like ends their whole turn and they take some damage. So one Mystic Shot. This was the 40th card. I had 39 cards that I don't have to add. There really wasn't anything I wanted to add. I'm not going to lie. The least could be cool, but I already have Teemo. So um, there wasn't really a card I particularly wanted to add. I was thinking about Get Excited for more. Basically, this card is just played as like, I mean, it's generic. You can use it on a unit if you want, but it's... It's just a it's just a fortieth card up in the deck. It gives you some reach, so you can do two damage to the Nexus directly. Use on you if you need to. It was just a versatile fortieth card, but you usually just want to use it on the Nexus. It does give it uh, your deck a way to finish the game, like along with Chaos Salesman, without like uh, pranksters and stuff. I was thinking about doing one Get Excited as my fortieth card just for the extra three damage, but I kept it simple and missed a shot. Plus this card in cost less. Um, it's it's better against units. This card's just better against units. Cause you don't have to discard anything and it can cost less so early game if that's the pur that's, that's the purpose that's what's happening at the time you could use it um anyways three like caretaker kill an ally summon two saplings i think everyone knows how good this card is should be curse keeper um treat this card's effects so you can go you can go in case people haven't seen this combo before bark beast on one curse keeper on two caretaker on three this becomes a three three you get a four three you get a two one and then two two ones with uh Challenger, and yeah, Ephemerial, and then when everything, when they die, so when this card kills a card by itself, and then these stacks are Ephemerial, so this by itself triggers Prankster and Neverblade three times. Um, three Callista, this card's really easy to level up with Haunted Relic, it's really easy to level up with Bite Caretaker combos, it's uh, just really good because it's a 4-3 that has Fearsome, so they can't block the Fearsome early game, you get 4 damage in, but once it's leveled up, it's really hard to stop. So it's really easy to level up with this. Then you have a uh, then you have a five attack fearsome unit that's attacking them, and when it, uh, it reborns the strongest unit of Emerio. So basically, like a reborn unit that'll be attacking, so that can do damage itself. But it, let's say they block it, then you still keep getting the since that Emerio unit dies when it strikes the round ends, you get another damage from Prankster Collector, and you can also reborn this when I'm summoned, uh, summoned to cast a cast. So that means when this card's summoned, it gets two last breath and Ephemerals that deal one each. So let's say let's just say you have Callista and Prankster, right? You attack, and then you, you get to summon this, and let's say they block Callista or whatever. You you get um, this dies, so that's one damage from Prankster. Then two of these dies, three damage from Prankster, but then when these die, they also do one damage by themselves, so it's five damage from Prankster, all from just attacking. You just attack with this leveled up, but if everyone's cast salesman, which it does most of the time, because it's three two and it's one of the strong cards in the deck, um, if not like the strongest basically. Then uh, besides escape escape domination, but Anyways, um, uh, this happens often. And then you, um, five damage. Let's say you have two Pranksters. That's 10 damage. Uh, it's pretty insane. So yeah, we'll get this card later though. Close is very good in this deck. Uh, three Prankster, main card of the deck. When ally dies, do one of Maxis. Pretty straightforward. Um, use Cast Salesman. Okay, so this is one of the amazing cards of the deck. One of the main reasons to be in P and Z. Um, summon, summon two cost of cast. So it's a three, two, a three. That summons two units. So when these die, uh, they trigger Prankster Nebula Collector, and when they die, they also have their own effect, deal one to each Nexus, so, and it's Ephemerial, so basically, this summons three units, that's three for Prankster, and then again, um, these also do one themselves, there's two of them, so it's five damage, and then with two Pranksters, that's ten damage. Um, you can use this defensively, it's pretty good defensively, because like, if, if they summon, like, say they're playing, let's like, say, Ash Sedge or something, they have like a huge, a bunch of strong cards, uh, they summon a card, you summon this, then you get three blockers, which is really good. Because you get three blockers that does f that do five damage to them without even became not even your attacking turn. You just defend with it. Then we have Neverlight Collector. It's kind of like extra copies of Prankster, but it's more expensive and better. Um, it, it's it's more expensive, but it, it's also, it, it drains. So and it's a two four. So um, it heals your Nexus on top of um, dealing damage to the Nexus. But let's get in the games. I'm excited for this deck. I did really good with it, so let's pop right in. Love the Elise deck. Which one? I play Elise a lot. This list no problem. Was it the Aggro Spider one? Oh, we want to keep this, right? It's pretty sick, right? He plays nothing. Snapline deck? Could be. I don't know how good I think Snapline is though. Oh, it's been my deck. Who, who goes 
I guess I should attack with both, maybe. Just pass. This is a broken combo. Prankster and uh, Cast Salesman. You think Teemo's edge tempo? Well, am I the one of these Teemo Jinx could have some potential? Am I the only one who thinks that? I probably am. Honestly, but... I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. It just sounds like Teemo Jinx, but has something to go. It's probably Freeze. Or I don't see, okay. It's fine. Seems too obvious. You just don't Jinx? I tried Teemo, Teemo Jinx Ionia a long time ago. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Wait! Like we can do some crazy shit, dude. Wait, his neck's broken as fuck. Oh, we need the prankster. The thing is, I didn't do that. I skipped the Jinx phase at the beginning. Our hand is so broken. Like, our hand is like actually just completely broken. Like, hand is just completely This is what? 6 damage, 6 damage, 8 damage? That's like. It's 20 damage. We drew another one! No way. Oh, wait, this counts for itself too. They don't. They have to block him. And he gets. So this is. Wait, this is more than that. This is. Wait, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six. This is 14 damage. <laughs> this is 14 damage. <laughs> Just off the cast cells. Wait, did I do that right, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Never lost a fair yeah. Blue oh, he's dead. And we saw this. This actually isn't fair. Okay, if he's playing the same deck as mine, there's like no way to stop these, so. You're bluffing. That's a mistake. Well, it's game, but. So this is pretty good. I mean, but if you have the patience, I would just wait for the new set to do anything, technically. My advice is that if you think you're like, you just want something new to play to get you to the new set, I'd pick one deck that looks really, really, really cool. And I would just use that your wild cards on that as the one deck to get you to buy time for the new set. Turn to generous. I I actually have just made a fizz deck and now I'm playing prankster. I kind of am playing a lot of swim decks lately, huh? I do names different. Yeah. What's uh What's your name being? Twice Lumineon. Is that like a like artist or a song or something? Uh, maybe. Honestly, maybe. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it. This is a K-pop group. Ah, uh, okay. I also get my old Twitch name. I used to be Nick Tendo Live. Like my name's Nick, like NSC. So like, so if Nintendo, it's like Nick Tendo. And I added live because they already, um, they already had Nintendo. Change my Twitch name to match my other name, but I don't want to change because play sounds mad dorky. Yeah, dude. Anyone who plays their name is super dork. Man. What a dork name. Fucking, fucking dork, dude. That dork has plays their name. This guy is actually fun. Haha. <laughs> See, I knew you guys would get it. GG.
refunds. Easy clap. <laughs> Easy clap. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. We're four and one. Last game we're we had double relic. We just need to like a prankster or something. No, not Radiant Guardian. Don't RNG me. Don't RNG me. Ooh, I felt that one, dude. I guess the cask. In case you wanted a glimpse, in the case he had a glimpse, he couldn't do it on a sapling. He had to glimpse his own card to get rid of it. And I, I knew he didn't want to. The, the one he wanted to glimpse the least would be um, his own. Uh, his own. His four three. So I decided to glimpse that one. So that way the sapling didn't stay there and he could glimpse it for free. What if he's Radiant Guardian? Show them what we're made of. We'll find better this side of the sun. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, Boom Crew did like so much damage. Yeah, Poppy's will be a bitch right now, yeah. He didn't ha he didn't do it the second turn when I had Teemo attack. So uh, I knew that he didn't um I knew that he didn't have it unless he drew a turn. I love Rainbow Four. It's like my favorite emote. They're both swim like decks. The one I just played against and that I can play right now. Hands a bit soft, but it's alright. Yeah. Reverse. Yeah, I like, cause I like, Hecarim like, he, he like betrayed her and stuff. No, I read it dude, like Hecarim like betrayed her and stuff. Like, he like killed her and stuff. Like, he killed her till she was dead and then... I read it dude. I read it. You pass? Sweet. That's mega chill, bro. I must get out of here. Wait, I should just push for more damage than that. What the fuck's wrong with me? And by what's wrong with me, I mean I was actually looking at something different in line. But if if I wasn't, I would have pushed more damage. Well, we'll just call Curskeeper. Let's replace Timo with the Elusive Poros. So I don't want crafting in for this. Honestly, pretty viable. <laughs> like, more, more viable than it should be. Realistically. If you don't want a hard commit to make it a deck, you can honestly just do that. I hope he doesn't haunt a relic. It would be a shame if he haunted relic. I see. Don't mind me. Time to go. Is he another caretaker? There's just no way, bro. Just no way. That'd be too good, right? Be too good, right? Why not glimpse the other one? Oh yeah, you're right. Why would he not glimpse the other one? That's actually a good point. It happens. I wasn't even I didn't even think about that. Yeah. It happens. That is kind of relevant though, I'm not going to lie. Yo, Cosmic with the raid! Thanks, man! Appreciate it! How's it going, dude? How are your games, man? Hey, appreciate the raid, appreciate the raid. How's it going, man? Welcome, everybody. What's up? 
Damn it. You didn't have it last time, so I got like hella greedy. You so wouldn't have this one either. I'm actually the greediest player ever. Good stream, bro. Popping off right now. Fish more. All right. Appreciate the raid, dude. Welcome, everybody. I'll see you later, man. That is a good team, man. I beat auto the last like five times a day, I feel like. Probably forgetting one time, like a tiny baby though. Maybe it's with our, maybe it's selective memory. She's my Switch name, so it fucks my IGN. Oh sh! Hell yeah, dude. Okay, well now, now that makes so much sense. Is that Clark Taker? That never would be so annoying to me to deal with. Appreciate it, uh, Nick Kessack. At the moment, I got really confused about why my game started playing a different Gen song. <laughs> That's funny. What game are you playing? Which one? Sword and Shield or a different one? Down, we, we just saw a prankster glimpse. That's amazing. Yeah, that was an interesting experience for me too, Parker. Play time, boy. Ultra Sun. Can we choose them? Okay. Gotcha. No, no. do this. Wait, is this, is this lethal right now? With the butchers? Oh, it's playtime. This axe broke. This axe broke. This is fine. This is like it's broken. We're like what six and one now? 